In this video, I will discuss the tibia bone in detail. Tibia bone is the bone of the leg. Anatomically, this is the thigh portion and this is the leg portion. And in the leg portion, we have two bones, tibia and fabula. Tibia bone is the second strongest bone in the human body. Of course, the first one is the femur bone. Now, before going into detail of the tibia bone, just briefly know the four joints in which it is involved. The first joint is the tibiofemoral joint that you can see. The tibia articulate with the femur bone. The second and the third joint is with the fibula bone. This one is the superior tibiofibular joint and this one is the inferior tibiofibular joint. The fourth joint in which it is involved is the ankle joint in which the tibia bone articulate with the talus bone of the ankle. Now came to the side determination of the tibia bone. For the side determination, you have to remember two main points. This tibial tuberosity should be on the interior side and this medial malleolus should be on the medial side. So this is the right tibia bone. Now let's come to the bony landmarks of the tibia bone. The tibia bone has two ends, the superior end and the inferior end and the shaft in the middle. The superior end is more broad than the inferior end. This is the superior end of the tibia bone. On the superior end, there are two condyles. This is the medial condyle while this is the lateral condyle. This is the tibial tuberosity. These two are the superior articular surface. This one is the medial facet of the superior articular surface while this one is the lateral facet of the superior articular surface. The medial facet is more broad than the lateral one. The medial facet articulate with the medial condyle of the femur bone while the lateral facet articulate with the lateral condyle of the femur bone that you can see here. Now this is clear from the picture that the medial facet is present on the superior surface of the medial condyle while the lateral facet is present on the superior surface of the lateral condyle. Between these two facet is present the intercondylar space. This hole is the intercondylar space. And if you look carefully, there is an eminence called the intercondylar eminence. In the superior end, you will see many pores. And these are the foramens through which nutrient vessel enters the tibia bone. This is the oblique line. On the posterior side, this is the fibular articular facet which is involved in the superior tibiofibular joint. This is the soleal line also called as the popliteal line and on this the soleus muscle originates. This foramen you see is the nutrient foramen. Now we came to the shaft of the tibia bone. The shaft of the tibia bone is triangular in structure. It has three borders and three surfaces. We have the interior border, the medial border and the introsious border. Between the interior border and the medial border, this surface is called as the medial surface. Between the interior border and the introsious border, we have the lateral surface. And between the introsious border and the medial border, we have the posterior surface. The interior border is more sharp and S in shape. Here you should know that if this is the introsious border of the tibia bone, there will be the introsious border of the fibula bone and between these two, there will be the introsious membrane. Now you can see clearly. Between these two introsious border, there is this introsious membrane. Now we came to the distal end of the tibia bone. 
on the distal end this is the medial malleolus and it is more visible and palpable on the feet if this is the normal leg then you can clearly observe the medial malleolus this is the medial malleolus and this is the fibular notch this fibular notch is involved in the inferior tibiofibular joint now one more important thing you should know on the distal end is this sulcus this depression and this is called the malleolar sulcus now this is the inferior articular surface involved in the ankle joint now this articular surface extend into the medial malleolus called as the articular facet of the medial malleolus now these all are the bony landmarks and discussion about the tibia bone